So now let's see how we can work around with shatter effect inside of HitFilm. So over here you can see that I have this video clip and in order to apply the shatter effect, I'm going to go around under the effects tab. Then I'm going to go around and scroll down until I uh, go around and find in particles in simulation. Then over here you can see that shatter which is layer only effect is an option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and right click and then I'm going to make a composite shot right here and press OK. So once I do that, I'm going to go around and bring in the shatter effect right here on the top of this particular layer. So once I do that, nothing really happens. But as I move the timeline, you can see the shatter effect in action right here, just like this. And this is how shatter effect actually works. So you can see that this is what you have right here. So you can see that, that the shatter effect is right there. So let me just go around and expand this. And over here, you can see the position as well. So you can go around and change around the position uh, right here of the footage and so forth and change around the depth as well. And you can see that that is what you have. So now if I were to go to rotation, you can go around and change around the rotation as well. And you can see that the shatter is actually 3D right here. So you can get the 3D effect right here and see it from different angle as well. You can go around and change the pattern to hex or custom right here just like this and then that is what you have. So you can see that you can go around and extrude it and so forth and get the different shatter effect. Let me just go to hex right here just like this and that is what you have and change around the rotation right here to change around the angle of the shatter. So if I were to go around onto physics then you can see that I can change around the radius of the shatter right here just like this. Uh, over here and you can also go around and change around the strength of the shatter right here So once I do that there's the gravity over here as well So you can go around and change around the strength over here and change around the direction over here as well the z axis and the um, and the uh, Florence over here just like this as well So you can see that you can go around and control this out and even animate it out right here so that is what you have as you can see. So apart from that, there's the simulation right here. So you can go around and change around the um, uh, viscosity right here. And then you can see that you can change around the rotation, the randomness over here as well, and change around the timing over here as well. So you can make it, let's say for example, for four seconds over here, just like this as well. So apart from that, there's appearance over here as you can see right here. So you can go around and change around uh, the colors right here just like this and then you can go around and change this out as you can see and add in a bit of colors as well. On the side you can go around and utilize different colors over here as well and change this out so that the side changes out and then you can change out the back over here just like this as well and add in color to it on the back as well. So that is what I have and you can see that this is the render and you can go for only render shatter and unshattered right here as you can see right here and choose different quality as well and just choose to render out the um, um the fill as well you can also enable out the depth of field right here so according to the active camera you can enable and disable the blurriness so you can go around and add in um, motion blur settings over here as well and change this out and you can see that motion blur is applied on the shatter as well just like this and you get a pretty natural effect as you can see and then you can go around and change around the illumination type right here so you can go around and choose different lights over here as well if there is any and then change around settings then you can see that there are many um, many um, 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 properties right here that you can change to let the shatter effect behave the way you want and that is how the shatter effect works inside of HitFilm. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.